Shalom, 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 Israel. First of all, I want to give a praise to the Messiah. How about Shem Yonashah? Yeah, man. It's for the breakdown video, man. I meant to do this breakdown video like probably that like, last month or probably even before that, but the spirit kind of came into me today to do the, do the breakdown video today, man. So today, breakdown video we touch on is basically um, Jacob's trouble, man, because that's the major prophecies, prophecies still to come to pass in that, man, because obviously no man on earth knows when Jacob's trouble is going to um, come to come to the earth, but um, that's the major prophecy that's going to come regardless, man. So, um, I just thought I'd do a breakdown video on Jacob's trouble, man, because that like, Jacob trouble, trouble, man, all hell's going to be breaking loose, man. No one knows if they're going to be saved out of it at all, man. So, yeah, man, that's why this, um, that's why um, this breakdown video, I kind of took my time when I was going to do this, because, um, yeah, man, because, um, don't want to be in a bad spirit and be doing breakdown videos. I want to be in, um, I don't say in the rats. Yeah, yeah, slack it out. I want to be in a rat spirit when I'm doing these breakdown videos. I want to be doing that. I'll be slack it. I don't want to be in the wrong spirit and basically like say the wrong things and slip up in it. So that's why I got, um, and that's what I'm, that's why when I do breakdown videos, make sure it's, I don't say the right time, but I'm, I'm right. I make sure like I'm, I'm in the, I'm in the right spirit and because I don't want to be, Saying the wrong things, man, and basically be be going off in it, man. So, so today, man, I'm the spirit jumped onto me today, man, just to um do this breakdown video, man. So, low when um brothers can be edified or sis can be edified when this video goes out, man. So, it's gonna be touching a Jacob trouble, man, because all hell's gonna break, be breaking loose, man, and no one knows, no Israelites can know if they're gonna be saved out of it, man. Because like, when it says um Jeremiah, I think it's in thirty, man, it says that basically um slack it out. I'm gonna paraphrase it. I'm gonna bring it out before I bring that um breakdown video, out, man. Um, so I'll show you this little clip of um last of slacky this um series, man. That's on, I think it's on um uh I'm not too sure what. what what um what what it's on but obviously I watched it on my first take and that's so, all um this thing called um Last of Us in it it's like a series in it man it's basically it's kinda of gone into the famine as well man because that like, they're, they're basically um survivor man yeah man so I'm just gonna play this little clip man it's a good series to watch as well I think it's like um series one and series two of it as well man and if I think they made a game of it as well in it man it's going to the same thing, man. It's like in a movie, and that it's basically it's talking about the famine, and it's like it's all them people just trying to survive in it, man. So let me just play this quick, um, quick clip, man. It's, I'm not gonna do a breakdown video about this movie, but I'm just gonna play this, um, short clip, man. It's basically going into um, famine, basically, and um, all hell breaking news, man. There's no police cars, there's no ambulances, there's no, um, Fire engines, no slackers, no fire, um, yeah, fire cars and that, no, no one to save you. It's, just, it's basically survival of the fitness in it's slack. It's kind of like um, that game called um, Call of Duty, man. When it, when you play, f like in that game mode, when it's called Free for All, man. It's every man, every man for the self in it, man. So, yeah, man. So let me play this um clip, man. After that, I'm gonna get into the lesson, man. Slack here. After all we've been through, it can't be for nothing. There's no halfway with this. We finish what we started. Yeah, man. So, so yeah, man, that's like a, that's just a quick clip, man. It's basically that like, movie was going into, um, basically, that, um, it's going, it kind of gone into the, um, the pandemic, innit, man, when, um, when, um, COVID hit and that as well, man. The pandemic, and that is not everyone going mad and that. And basically, that like, it's going into, uh, basically, um, fam famine as well, man, because no, f no food in it, man. You gotta try and make your own food in that out there, basically, that, and it's kind of like, um, 
like I, I'm a legend as well, man. Like all hell's breaking loose, man. There's no cars and that. Like, there's cars, but obviously, like uh, most of the cars are all brought down on them, man. Cause like all hell's breaking loose, man. That's so how it's gonna be like an um. Obviously, I don't know it's gonna be like a Jacob Chubb, but obviously, like it's gonna be like um all hell's breaking loose in that money. It's gonna be survival of the fitness, slacky survival of the fit fitness in it, man. Cause that um many people on earth they think when we bring out um that priest that gets bring up, brought out man that Jacob Chubb and that and Jeremiah man that these um these children that all these all these men all these women man they wanna go past the camp and scoff in it and they'll be laughing and saying um saying um. So you, so they say they believe in God. They say they believe in the Lord and that, but obviously, like, what 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 are they doing to um show show that they believe in the Most High, man? They're breaking the Sabbath every um Shabbat every Saturday, man, and they're working and that buying buying food, man. It's doing on pleasures month and fulfilling their lust lust, man. That's that's off as hell, man. Because like when Jacob Chubb was hits, man, these these ladies, these women think think that um that long eyelashes and these um that that blonde hair, that weaving, uh, and that hair extensions, and um, all that folly, man. I think that's gonna save, you, man. Cause right now, it's, it's a lot of these easemen are just um, all you care about is basically going to the the Chinese um, nail salon shops, man, and getting their nails done, getting their eyebrows done, and basically and going to the um, the hair salon shops as well, man. Getting weaving their head, man, and basically. Uh, Blowing, blowing up the hair, man, trying to look like that person, man. That's, all them stuff are not gonna save you when in Jacob Chubb, man. When Jacob Chubb hits, man, you'll be um, you'll be begging for love. You'll be begging, trying to find that the men of the Lord, man. When he's out there in the house, about trying to bid you to the marriage, but you just want to want to scoff and basically that like, want to argue with us and walk walk by, man. But so like I'm said, that like uh, like it says, man, like um, our people are stiff, man, man. The hard of hearing, man, like. Like, like the saying says, man, if, if you can't hear, you must feel, man. If you don't hear, hear the, the law of and commands, man, you're going to find out when all hell's breaking loose, man. So let me get this priest up in, man. Get Jeremiah first. Get Jeremiah chapter, um, getting a CEV. Read down to the... So I can quite read. Yeah, finish at six actually. Yeah, finish at six though. Uh, Jeremiah fifty one verse Slucky. Jeremiah fifty one verse one out of the C E V. This is basically talking about Babylon will be destroyed. I the Lord I Slucky, I the Lord am sending a wind to destroy the people of the Slake. I the Lord am sending a wind to destroy the people of Babylonia and Babylon its cap its capital foreign soldiers will come in every direction and when the the disaster is over Babylonia will be empty see that and worthless and I will tell these soldiers attack quickly before the Babylon Babylonians can string their bows, bows, or put on their armor. See that, kill their best soldiers and destroy their army. See that, the troops will fall, wounded, in the streets of Babylon. Verse five, everyone in Israel and Judah is guilty. See that, but I, the Lord, all powerful, the holy God, have not abandoned them. See that Moses is gonna save the remnant of Israel, man. The one that's keeping the law, such and commandments, man. Uh, verse six, last one. Get out of Babylon. Run for your lives. If you stay, you will be killed. See that it's basically when all hell's breaking loose, man. Like. So let me finish this. When I take revenge on the city and punish it for its sins, let me let me read. I, know, I might as well get verse eight as well. Babylon was my it's like a Babylon it's like a Babylon was my golden cup filled with the wine of my anger. The nations of the world got drunk on this wine and went insane. See that verse eight. But suddenly Babylon will fall and be destroyed. 
I, the Lord, told the foreigners who lived there, weep for the city, get medicine for its wounds. Maybe they will heal. Uh, so get verse 9, let me see. Yeah, man, then get verse 9 as well. Actually, and get verse 10 as well. Man. After that, man, break it down. The foreigners, the foreigners answered, we have already tried to treat Babylon's wounds, but they would not heal. Come on, let us. Come on, let's all go home to our own country. See that? Nothing is left in Babylonia. Everything is destroyed. See that? The people, the people of Israel said, tell everyone in Zion, the Lord has taken revenge for what Babylon did to us. What, basically, what um, what the world done to us, man? That these other nations, man, these heathens, man, what they, what they done to us, man? And slavery times that has had us the, the um Israelites and slaves for way over four hundred years, man. So it's payback, man. Like it says, man, he that leads into captivity shall go into captivity, man. He that killeth us or must be killed us or so. Or what these nations are doing to us, even the slavery times, even in today's society, man. There's payback for that. There's revenge for that, man. That's why when you walk past the Edomite or Pastor Sidema or, or, or Heathen Nation, man, they always got their head down, they always look at you angry, man, because they know that their time's up, they know that they're going to slave when the Mosai returns, man. So that's that's what what they what they need what they need to do is like basically live it up, man, buy the nice nice houses, man, buy the nice cars, man, go on holiday, enjoy the stuff, man, because when the Mosai comes here as a thief in the night, man, all that's coming to air, man. So let me um get another bit and after I'm uh, getting to another precept. Um it's basically um I'm not even gonna read all of this, I'm just gonna read um uh read read to twelve man. Uh it's basically saying the Lord wants Babylon destroyed, man. It's verse eleven. I the Lord want Babylon destroyed, see that? Because its army destroyed my temple. So you you kings of media, sharpen your arrows and pick up your shields, raise the signal flag and attack the city walls. Post more guards, have short soldiers watch the city and set up ambushes. I have made plans to destroy Babylon and nothing will stop me. I mean, might as well, should I get verse 13? Yeah, let me get verse 13, man. People of Babylon, you live among, along the Ephrates River. Let's see, Ephrates, I can't even pronounce that word, man. My teeth, man, slacky. Along that Eve, Eve writes, River, it's lucky I've got that wrong, man, and are surrounded by canals. You are rich, but now the time has come. Let me get my to get first 14 as well. I, the Lord, I, the Lord, all powerful, powerful, swear by my own life that enemy soldiers will fill your streets like a swamp of Lucas. They will shout and celebrate their victory. Yeah, man. So, what I'm saying is the Mosai wants Babylon destroyed, man. So, no, um, you can't do nothing to, to stop the Mosai's judgment or can't um, stop what's going to come to pass, man. Everything's in the Bible. What's, 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 everything, what's, what's inside the Bible, that's what's going to come to pass, man. There's no um, escaping this judgment, man. That's why, that's why the... Um, the Israelites need to um come back to the um law statue and commands man and get in get in line man for all hell breaks loose man that's why when we're out when the um Israelites are out there in the house and buy man in America or in the UK or wherever in the world man when we bring out the word man lost sheep of, the lost sheep of Israel need to um listen man and listen and basically um listen to the word word man and don't go past and scoff man Cause like we're not talking no lies or no folly, man. Everything was in the Bible will come to pass. Fam, fam, famine will come to pass. Jacob trouble will happen, man. Race wars will happen as well, man. So that's why I need to get in check, man. Cause no one knows how long we got left left in this Babylon place, man. If you ain't getting sick for this Babylon place, there must be something wrong with you as well, man. Cause though you Jake's are easy getting getting tired of um basically work waking up early in the morning working for your oppressors, man. And, Basically, build, build, building up their um, wealth, man. Yeah, man. Plus, the, the Edomites or Shedomites, even though you might, you might work there, they really and truly don't like you, man. Because, like, when it's time to go home from the plantation, they're not trying to um, get drinks or go to the pub with you, man. They're trying to go to the pub or go home with, with their friends, innit? 
you might smile up in your face when you're working on a plantation, but deep down, man, they really hate you, man. They really want to stab um, a knife in your back, man. So, um, then we get Jeremiah Spacey getting into Jacob's trouble, man. Jeremiah 30, verse 7, and it reads, Alas, for the day is it's lucky, alas, for the day is great, for that none is like it. It is even a time of Jacob's trouble. It's lucky. But he shall be saved out of it. Yeah, man, so what I'm saying is like Jeremiah, what I'm saying Jeremiah is basically that. Basically that, um, most I'm saying that like, he, shall be, he shall be saved out of it, innit? So, um, basically when Jacob's trouble happened, but like, it's going to be a, it's going to be a, it's gonna be a um, great day, man. Not a great day like that, but it's gonna be um, the day is great, in it, man. It's basically, like no one on earth's gonna be um, gonna know what what it's gonna be like, in it, because no one on earth's ever seen what Jacob trouble. No one on earth ever witnessed what Jacob trouble um, gonna be like, in it, man. Because when it happens, and like, everyone's gonna be in for a shot, man. So, um, but the more I said, like um, it is even. The time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it, man. But obviously, like no one knows who's going to be saved exactly. But most I said, like um, he should be saved out of it, man. The, um, the Israel's going to be saved out of it, man. But no one knows exactly who's who's going to be saved out of it, man. Exactly. But so that's what we need to pray for, us, repent, man. In these last days, man. Like, even when, like, when even when certain brothers or sisters are suffering pers persecutions, man. Gotta keep the Lord's statue commandments. You can't be denouncing the Most High's name. You gotta be keeping the Lord's statue commandments. Wearing your fringes, man. Don't be upset. Don't be get um. Don't be um. Um, just trying to find a word, man. Don't be getting worried, man. If if them heathens or other nations or even your own people are looking at you funny because you're wearing your fringes, man. You gotta wear your fringes, man. Don't be scared of people. What people think, man. Cause like, it's like it's fair. even um. Today when I was wearing my fringes, man, like, um, I was sweating my hands, man. A lot of humans are looking at that, but they got to deal with it, man. Like, like I said, man, no weapon formed against me will prosper, man. So it's got to stay in the spirit, man. Got to be um, worrying about what these heathens think, man. Well, as long as we keep the lost types of commands, that's the, the main thing, man. Can't be worrying about these what these devils think of us, man, because like, they can break the Sabbath day, they can they work on the Sabbath, they can do what they want to do, but... When we, as soon as we want to keep the commands, they got a problem with it. They want to put up, they want to um, um, so again, um, they want to um, screw the face up you, like, screw screw your face at you like you're doing something wrong. You're not doing nothing wrong. You're keeping the law, that's your commands. That's what you're doing, man. But they got to deal with it, man. They can get upset at how much they can, but they know the reason why they get upset because they know that the the um, the wicked Babylon place come to them, man, and the the evil is that's going to be ruling over the ruin over these oppressors man. They're gonna be um they're gonna be our slaves man and they're gonna be serving us man righteously man. So um let me get the next precept. up. It's less than gonna be too long man. Uh get Luke twenty one verse start from eleven and great earthquake shall be it's lucky and great earthquake shall be in diverse places and famines and pestilences and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven yeah man it's like what I was showing you before before I got any precepts and I was showing them that series called um, Last of Us man it's basically going into um, it's going into famine man it's going into pestilence because most people out there are not about to eat man in, in, um, in the world's breaking news man when, when famine hit when famine hits um, the UK or wherever the world wherever in the it's like when, when famine hits the UK or America or, what, or whatever in the world, man. Like, basically, like, um, a lot of people are going to be dying, man. Certain people are not going to be able to eat, man. Certain people are going to be eating the, um, the children, man. Certain people are going to be breaking into um, certain people's house. That's like in, um, in Last of Us as well, man. Certain people are going to be breaking into people's house and they be killing be killing people to basically just to, just to survive, man. Because like, when famine hits, man, like, um, when there's no food, man, when there's no... um. Tesco, no Sainsbury's, man, no Waitrose, man, no, no, um, Iceland, man. When all the shops are closed down, man, people, that's, that's when you're going to be seeing people's real colours, man, because, like, no one, no one on earth has ever witnessed a famine when there's no shops, man, there's no, um, when all shops are closed down, and all, um, grocery shops, all, and all these, um, 
big vans when there's no no more deliveries, man. There's no big Aslan deliveries when there's no big I'm saying these deliveries when all hell breaks loose, man. When there's proper famine, when there's no food on earth, man. That's when you need to be see, seeing people's people's um real colors, man. Because um like they say, man, when 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 Jake gets hungry, man, like um he starts to get mad on it, man. So that like, imagine when when imagine Jake or Eve or any other people without any food, man, like, all hell's gonna be break, breaking loose, man, like, certain people's gonna be breaking into certain, um, other neighbours, neighbours' houses and be, um, licking them down, man, trying to get, empty their food, trying to get, um, their food just for them to eat, man, so, so what I'm saying, man, when famine hits, man, that's when you be seeing people's, um, true colours, man, that's why the men of the Lord and the Eves and, um, anyone that's in the truth, man, need to pray for us, repent, ask for the most high for forgiveness, forgiveness, and, not to be um buggy out in these last days, man. So let me get Amos, man. Amos eight verse eleven. It reads, "Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh, that I will send a famine. See that in a land not a famine of bread. See that not not a thirst of water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. So even um what that's talking about is basically that men know that that's out there in the highs and buys, man." Like, most of these stiff, stiff neck people, man, these Eves and Jakes, man, even these um young children, man, that's when when go past and scoff and, and walk by and wanna be um trying to cuss us, man, trying to call us names and that, man. When it says a, when it says a famine and, and Amos and it says it's not talking about bread, it's not talking about water, it's talking about hearing the wor words, man. That when when the men of the Lord telling um telling um the um, lost sheep is or the children. Eves or the Jakes, man. When when we're telling telling them you need to keep the law such you want, you need to be keeping the Sabbath day. When we're, when we're telling them you need to be um, so again um, need to be um, stop being poor, man. Stop you need to start wearing the fringes, man. You need to um, basically like, get in line before all hell breaks loose, man. Like, that's when it's that's what it's talking about, man. When basically like, there'll be a famine of the word, man. That's like, basically like, um, the Hebrew Israelites, man. That's out in the house of bars, bars, man. Men and Lord ain't gonna be out there when it's when it's a famine, man. When when Jacob trouble happens, that like, there ain't gonna be no um camp, man. Camps gonna be closed, man. And Lord willing, I'm gonna let man. Um, the people that labour, um, slacky the people, um, slacky, slipping my tongue, man, slacky. Lord willing, I'm gonna let man. I'm a, um, brother that labour labour with. He's a let let as well, man. Cause that like, I don't wanna be um going through these um. These um wicked times, man. But obviously, that um, so we need to, so it, like it says, man, that he didn't endure until the end. The same thing be saved, man. So we just need, we need to just need to endure, man, and just keep the Lord's statutes and commandments, man, because that, because that. Even certain times when we tell um our, our people, man, that like, certain time we talking to them for like way over an hour or probably thirty minutes, and then the next next camp we see them still doing the same thing. It's like like, like, it's like we're waste, wasting our time, man. That's why at certain times we get upset, man. Because when we told certain sisters need to wear a dress, start um, just like a princess, man. We're not saying it just for the sake of saying it, saying it because that like, you, you need to be just like a princess, not to be just like a slut or or just like no shida man, man. Because shida man, they wear um wear leggings, man. They show off the whole camel toe, and went and um, I seen it for myself as well. And certain times when I I've been gym for a long time, but obviously that like, when I used to go to gym and that. To see these Edom, no Shedomites when you go gym and that they don't even change the clothes, man. That like, wear that skimpy ass, um, um, I can't remember what it's called, man. That like, gym suit, man. That like, only it's like basically they were sweating leggings and wearing some t shirt and that, man. You swear to the gym and that like, she, she the whole, see the whole camel toe, man. She the whole, um, see the whole attire, man. And basically, when it's when they're going home, man, they don't they don't go to change them to get trained, man. They just go straight, straight home, man. You don't go to change you get changing so you just go straight home and basically um you see the whole body man that's that's what they want to promote in this society and they think um just they think that um that's dressing modest man that's officer that's that's that's, that's not dressing modest man because when you tell these ease man you can't be wearing gym attire showing off your bum man showing off your common top man you want to get upset man you want to start to argue with us but she the mats can do that man but if if it's ease walking past the camp and that will show them the whole camp talk show us the whole bum and that man we have to we have to, we have to reboot them and righteously and tell them that you need to put on a dress put on a skirt man start dressing like a princess man stop 
just like a slap man stop stop calling yourself a bad b and stop um trying to follow these heathens man that's what the heathens do man because when you tap in google um when you tap in um harlot man these three shudamite women turn up in google man that's that's what they're saying like they're the real harlots man the ease the ease ain't, ain't no harlots man because like a lot of these ease want to be making um friends with these Edomites and Shedomites, man, they're thinking that they're friends, they're not your friends, because when all hell breaks loose, when, when Jacob trouble happens, man, you're going to, in the long run, you're going to see who, who your, your, your true friends, you're slacking, like, you're going to see who your true friends are, man, because when um, race war happens, man, a lot of these Shedomites and Edomites are going to get you Jakes and E's killed, man, because like, like it says in um, Deuteronomy 7 verse 3, man, you shouldn't be making marriages with them, you shouldn't even be um, chilling with them, man. If you have to work with them, just work with them and go home and don't be trying to go to the pub and trying to go to um waitress with them or trying to go to these um these um supermarkets or go to these um restaurants with them and just do your work and go home. Stop don't stop trying to make these heathens your friend, man, because that uh, you see what happened and um basically um I think it's all call can't pronounce the name man, I think it's somewhere in America man. Uh Carrington. I can't pronounce the name on that, but you see what happened in that boat party, man. And Edomites tried to um, rush that Jake, man, and, and um, and a lot of them Jakes had to come back it for them, man. A lot of them Jakes had to put hands on them, them Edomites, man, because it's not slavery times, no, man, man. All them slavery times, that's, we're not living in um, the 1960s, no, more, the 1950s, no, more, man. In 2023, man. A lot of these young, um, young, young generation, they, they don't stand for all that slavery to all that wickedness, man. So that's what shows you, like, um, when it comes to um, fighting these Edomites, man, we're good at like, coming together. But when it comes to um, a day-to-day basis, like when it's coming to um, basically like sticking together, like certain Jakes don't want to be coming together. But like, all praise the most out of Apple, man, because like that's that's prophesied, man. That like, basically that's race, race. It's like a, that's race race wars, man. That's gonna come to pass as well, man. Even that's a lot, it's a lot of f- fiction that you that you saw, man. But very soon, man, it's gonna be um race wars, like gonna be Edomites fighting against Jakes, man. Cause that, like it says in the Bible and in Genesis, man. Um, it's gonna be um Jacob. Um, I even paraphrase paraphrase. I'm gonna say this, that um, like Jacob was um basically Esau hated um Jacob Jacob because of his blessing, man. And Esau basically. Soul is um birthright man. Just paraphrasing that man. I'm not gonna get the priest. I was, I was wanted to mention that man because that that's re- that's the reason why um Esau always always mad at um Jake Jake man. We dress better than them man. We've got more style than them with the sword of the earth man. You have to deal with it man. So um let me get another priest. The last priest after um went down. Man. But that's just that even that happened at the boat party, man. All praise to the most side that happened, man, because that's just shows that we need to be stick, sticking with each other in these last days, man. You see how these Edomites, they stick together at the plantation, man. These remaining people, they stick together, man. Our straights, man, so called blacks, Spanish, Native Americans, need to be sticking together in these last days. Not not just not just not just sticking together when it's fighting, man. It's be sticking together when it's um when we're at work, man, sticking together when we're um, out there. It's out there in general, man, saying, asking each other, you're right, man, stop all that red eye, man, stop doing Deuteronomy 28 verse 54, stop, stop having an evil eye against each other, man, because, um, even, um, happened again, um, basically, um, trying to think what happened, man, uh, yes, yeah, that's, 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 um, even in boxing, man, like, um, don't know if brother's seen it or sister's seen it, man. That like basically, um, even Anthony Joshua, man. Like I think, um, when it's COVID times, when think when Black Life happened, when George George Floyd got killed, in it basically, um, I think Anthony Joshua said, um, I think he'd done, um, he done a little speech in it, man. He's basically saying, um, saying that basically, um, us so called black people, you say, saying that, that, but he said, like, um, us black people need to be, um, Basically, like sticking them, sticking with each other, and basically like um, supporting each other. Stop um, stop spending money at these um, other corporations, man, and start spending money for our own people, man. 
and um, think a couple of days later, man, they want to be calling um, anti just a racist, man. That's just to show you, man, um, why did he even raise, man? They want to get upset because um, we're telling the truth, man. Like, um, like it says as well, man, that he sh um, we should know the truth and the truth will make you free, man. Because, like, what you're saying is true, man. We need to start spending money for own people, start spending money with these heathens, man. And even when he's fighting, like, um, last Saturday, man, when he brought up that, um, that, that Edomite, man, basically, um, fake, um, before he got a knockout, man, like, basically, um, they was basically booing him in it, man. That's to show you that, um, the heathens don't like us and they hate us, man, like, he's wicked, he's wicked, uh, wicked or uh, in strain to the womb, man, speaking lies, man, like, basically, that's this hate us, man, even the boxing, man, like, when we don't, um, I mean, don't tick the boxes, man. You want to get upset, man. But like I said, man, why did he, why did he even rage, man? So enough of that. Um, talk about that boxing folly, man. Let me get um, um, the last precept. Man. It's a book of um, Second Peter chapter three verse ten. But in a day of the Lord will come as as a thief in the night, in which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth and the works that are that are wherein slacky and slacky slack once the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Yeah, man. So what I'm saying is that um, Babylon's gonna get destroyed, man. That like, basically when the world's breaking loose, man. The most that comes as a thief in the night. He's not coming to um, not coming to um, basically like, um, save everyone. Not not coming to save the Edomites or the other nations. Not coming to do. None, none of that folly, man. Most of it's coming to um, basically destroy the whole earth, man, and basically kill all, all you heathens that had the so called blacks, Spanish, and Native Americans in um, basically captivity and, and enslavement, man. The Most is not coming, no slacking, um, Yahweh is not coming to um, basically hand out no donuts or hand out no sweets or doing what um, what these Christians think, think um, Yahweh is going to do. He's not coming to the earth to do none of that. He's come to, um, who's going to come as a thief in the night, man. It's basically that, it's, that the earth is gonna melt with fervent heat, man, and the earth should be um, and the works therein shall be burnt up, man. The, the earth doesn't get destroyed, man. A lot of people doesn't get killed, man. A lot of these people that they wanna listen to the men of the Lord, man. That's, that was out in the house back trying, trying to bid you to marriage, man. Like, a lot of these people gonna get killed and get licked down, man. So that's what it's saying, man. He's not saying it's, the Mosai is not on that. Um, the um, Yahusha is not on that. Um, that John free that John. Free um so again that John um three sixteen spirit man. They think um, the most is gonna um, they think Yahweh is gonna come to um basically um save the whole earth man. You know what to come to do none of that man. Slack your one six. Yeah, you're not trying to do none of that um that John three sixteen spirit man. That's what these Christians believe and they think that um, they think um, that um, Yahweh Shai is going to come and save the, the whole earth. Why, is it, why would he come to save the whole earth if the um, heathens had us in captivity? That don't, don't make no sense, man. Why would, why would um, Yahweh Shai come and save these Edomites, all these these Moabites, all these Amalek people? That don't make no sense if they had us in slavery, man. Yahweh Shai is not come to save you other nations. He's come to put you other nations that had the um, Israelites in slavery. It's lucky that most had no slack. Yahweh Shai has come to put all, all your other nations that had the Israelites in slavery in captivity, man, because, like, they think they're going to get away with um, having us in slavery. Like, oh, man, they're not going to get away with it. That's why, as soon as we mentioned slavery, we'll mention that you nations want to slave them. They're going to say, like, stop preaching hate, man. Stop, um, can't you get over it? Like, oh, we're not going to get over, we're not going to get over um, your forefathers had us in slavery, man. We're not going to get over that slavery, man. Like the saying says, man, what goes around comes around. It's like a, what um, what goes around comes around. Isn't it? So all that evilness, what you've done to us in the slave time, that's gonna come back around, man. When um, the Israelites gonna have the, the Israelites gonna have all your heathens in, in captivity and, and slavery, man. So you gotta deal with it, man. Don't get mad at um, the men in law. Get mad, mad at the Bible, man. If you're gonna, you're gonna take something up against something, man. Take up against, it's the most sad, man. Because that's everything what we're, we're saying is. is Everything that we're saying is, is in the Bible, man. We've got to deal with it, man. So, I mean, um, before I close out, I'm going to show you um, a little clip, man. It's basically um, 
even in these, in these games, man, it's showing that how um how people um think it's um the basic uh. Let me try to find it. See if I can find it. So like yeah. Even in these games, and Spacey is saying like um, Spacey showing the native showing the Native Americans, man. I think it's in some game called um Division, man. Showing like um, a museum of the of um the museum of Native people, man. But I don't know if they're gonna show all of it. But um, let me see. I'm not gonna play all of it. I'm just gonna play probably a couple seconds of this, man. Bear with me. Um, Basically, that's yeah, getting to um, the museum of the native people in it, man. So even these games are showing that. Um, don't know if they to show the history, man, but um, it's so, okay. This whole museum is showing the Native Americans in it, man. Like, the whole history, how they went through mm -hmm. um, slavery, man. So, okay. Uh, so they're going to something else, man. They're not even. They're not even going on the. Um, they're not even going in the. Um, basically, um, on the gar gallery, man. Because I, not to sound off, man. In that wrong playing games, but I think I played that, that mission that uh, time ago, man. That basically, um, that mission is basically going into basically showing them how the Native, Native Americans went through slavery, man. That's basically like the Native Americans that are Israelites, man. They don't know. They don't know Hebrews, man. So called blacks, Spanish, Native Americans with the Hebrew Israelites. They don't know, um. No black people, not no um, none of them the bowels. What what these other nations want to call us, man? But that's it. I just wanted to um show you that little clip, man. I know I thought they were gonna get into show you the pictures of the um how the Native Americans went through in slavery, but they didn't show it, man. But that's uh, all. That's all. All it's lucky. That's all I wanted to get in, into today, man. I just wanted to show you like um, I just wanted to do that breakdown about Jacob Struggle and Lord willing, I might do a part, part two on it as well, man. That's for us to do a quick lesson, man, because um. Meant to do this lesson like um, a couple of days ago, or no, a few a couple of months ago, but the spirit jumped on, the spirit jumped onto me to do it today, man. So, um, because a lot of these people think Jacob Trouble, they think it's not gonna come to pass. They might be thinking Jacob Trouble is um like it's a myth, and they think it's not gonna come to pass, or it's like it's a game, and but if you um let me tap in Jacob Trouble and see what see what happens, and man, or we'll see what comes up, man, because a lot of these heathens or these or a lot of our people want to think that Jacob Trouble is all fun and games, man. But yeah, let's see what happens when I tap in Jacob Trouble on Google, man. After this, I'm going to close up. That's all funny, man. That's not. It's, it's East Warner, man. East Warner, I'm tapping some funny, man. Uh. That's my goal to show you some pictures, man. Because if you type it in Google, now, you saw a certain time you're gonna be talking folly, man. Uh, yes, yeah, basically, when you type in Jacob Trouble on Google, man, his pictures, man, even says a picture saying, um, Jacob Trouble understand the greatest crisis the world will ever know. So, basically, no one on this earth ever seen Jacob Trouble. So, so that's a very that's probably the, um the most serious prophe prophecy to come to pass, man. Jacob Trouble, man. All hells and break be breaking news, man. No one knows what's going to even happen, man. So um, show you a couple more pictures after I close out, man. Yes, Jacob Trouble, that's basically all hell breaking news, man. We even got the um, see the Jakes on ease there, man. It's Jacob Trouble, isn't it, man? Everyone's screaming and shouting, man, that because. It's not gonna be no fun and games when Jacob Trouble's kicking off, man. It's gonna be all hell breaking news, man. That's what so called blacks, Spanish, and Americans is getting all of it, all of before all hell breaks loose, man. It's not no games when Jacob Trouble's come to pass, man. So we need to get in all of man for all hell breaks loose, man. Because when Jacob Trouble happens, man, that you're gonna be wishing that that you, you was listening to the men of the Lord, man. It's not no fun and games when Jacob Trouble kicks off, man. All famine happens and all pestilence come to pass, man. Like, Jacob Trouble ain't no joke thing, man. So, yeah, man, that's all I saw. That's all I was all to show you. I saw and all to get into you. So, Lord willing, um, brothers and sisters are going to be edified when, when the video gets uploaded, man. So, um, that one, I'll close that and give a praise to the most. So, yeah, I'll share. Shalom.
کوامه شده.